Now to that ABC News exclusive and the mystery surrounding the death of former Arkansas for, of a former Arkansas state senator. Her friend is now in custody facing charges, but that friend's fiance says, says there's no way that she is guilty. T.J. Holmes sat down with him, T.J., and what a, what a story this is. Yeah, good morning to you all, and you're about to hear the fiance right now unequivocally stand by his woman, who this morning still sits in jail, and she is accused of being a killer, but the fiance is accusing police of having blinders on, and he says his only recourse now is to ask the country for prayers and police for the evidence. A shocking mystery that turned heads. News of Arkansas police investigating a cold-blooded killing of a former state senator, Linda Collins Smith, who was found shot to death and wrapped in a blanket outside her home on June 4th. Police remained tight-lipped for days, but later they say they found the suspect. Friend and former colleague Becky Lynn O'Donnell, who is now facing charges of capital murder, abuse of Collins Smith's body, and tampering with physical evidence. She is sad that this is hurting her family, um, but she's angry and she's strong. Who's she mad at? Whoever arrested her and why. O'Donnell is spending a second week in jail, and her fiance, Tim Loggins, claims police have made a huge and inexplicable error. She has been arrested now for capital murder, and you and Becky don't have any idea why? None whatsoever. Logan says he was the one to break the news to O'Donnell. I just told her they found Linda dead and, and she collapsed. Police records were sealed the day after Colin Smith's body was discovered and authorities haven't said much about the case. But more than a week after the murder, O'Donnell and Loggins were on their way to the memorial service for Colin Smith when they noticed flashing lights. What do you think was happening when you saw those blue lights? I mean, I don't know what's going on, but it's obvious they're stopping us with my son in the truck. And we stop, and they've got AR-15s pointed at us. You could see the look of just utter disbelief on her face that that was happening. Uh, not knowing what's going on, you could just see it. O'Donnell worked on Colin Smith's most recent campaign, and according to Loggins, was the last person known to have seen Colin Smith alive. I believe it was May 28th. Right, she May took Linda lunch, is what she told me. Took her lunch to her home? Yes. They were very close. You don't understand... Becky worked for Linda, mm -hmm. but Linda was a family friend. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like Becky's sister, Linda was like my sister. You would classify them as best friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. They were all so close that Logan says O'Donnell was a corroborating witness in Colin Smith's divorce, and he had power of attorney over Colin Smith, overseeing some of her financial matters, and that has brought him under some public scrutiny. I didn't want to do it, but Linda needed the help, and you help a friend when they need it. I never made a nickel off of helping Linda do any of that, period. You're telling me you never benefited from any of that? that never. Correct? Not a nickel. Are you 100% certain that your fiance, Becky, had nothing to do with the murder of Linda Collins? Yes, I am. You had nothing to do with the murder of Linda Collins? I did not. After O'Donnell's arrest, Colin Smith's family was stunned, releasing a statement saying, we are sickened and upset that someone so close to Linda would be involved in such a terrible, heartless crime. But Loggins is asking for help to clear his fiance's name, saying he believes the real killer is still out there. Has it crossed your mind for a moment, just in some late night alone, where you question, well, maybe Becky is capable of this. Becky's not capable of this. You haven't had that moment I haven't questioned at all. that. At no. All. No. I mean, either she is a best actress in the world mm -hmm. and a sociopath mm -hmm. and completely fooled me, or there's not a chance she did this. Well, the next court date is scheduled for next month in July. Um, still, police are saying they had a critical juncture in the investigation. So they have sealed the documents and they aren't saying much of anything. Mm -hmm. But everyone you talk to there that knew these folks and know them well, I'll talk about how tight knit this group was and you hear him and something just isn't adding up and making sense. And there's no one who has suggested a motive of any kind for this killing. He's, he's adamant that she is. He absolutely is. Not guilty. All right. Thank you, TJ. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.